Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So having a quick look at the US 30 there, you can see that it's just bounced off that potential support at 15,870. As yesterday, we had another sell off across the other global equity markets as the banking crisis begins to uh, unfurl across Europe. With Deutsche Bank down at its all time ever lows as of yesterday. Banks across uh, Spain, Italy and Greece also down heavily and people are talking about uh, a familiarity with this to the credit crunch in 2007. When we have a look at some of the other markets, you'll get an idea about how deep that sell-off has been. And we've also seen crude oil uh, continue its sell-off as well. So this is where we currently stand with the US 30, trading below that 21 period SME. The other technicals are relatively neutral, but the MACD histogram is decelerating, uh, indicating we might get, uh, might get a, a bearish crossover on the MACD, um, which would maybe cause us to break it down below that potential support if it happens. Jumping on to the UK 100, you can see we've already broken below 57.70. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly go on to my weekly charts here so we can see those levels a bit more clearly. Um, looking here, you are looking at, oh, we're pretty much bang on there again. Look at that, Six, uh, 5,600 and change is a potential support level. And it's bounced off there twice. This is on a weekly chart. So let's go ahead and look at that from a daily perspective again. You can just see that level is going to be strategically important in the short term, potentially strategically important. So uh, that's the UK market, obviously heavily influenced by the commodity markets. This is where we are with the Japan 225. I get my drawing tool out here again. We're looking for the next potential support. We're just quite far away from anything. Um, 14,394 would be the next potential support level uh, with 16,392 being the potential resistance. Moving on then to uh, dollar yen. Uh, Again, quite a lot of negativity uh, on this FX pair. People buying the yen as a hedge against uncertainty uh, at the expense of the US dollar. That's what's impacting the uh, Japan 225 as well. Uh, Japan finance minister is still concerned by the extra strength that we're seeing in the Japanese yen coming at an inopportune time for them. Uh, but uh, one th uh, 114 yen, uh, spot 74 is a potential support level. This must be a support level from a longer time period. Uh, we're actually looking quite far away in that regard. Uh, we have to go all the way, all the way back to 2007 to find that potential level. So even that's not really the strongest of potential support levels, but it's still something to bear in mind. Jumping back onto the daily interval for now, you can just get a flavor of where we are. For as long as we stay above uh, 114 spot 74, that might act as potential support. It's dipped down there today and yesterday, but it's closed above those levels. If this was to um, finish up with the candle formations like this, you've got a big red candle, a slightly smaller one, an even smaller one, this could be a, a hammer formation where you might get a slight turnaround. In which case, if that, is, if that does happen from a technical perspective, you could be looking at um, 117 spot 36 as the next potential resistance. Moving quickly on to West Texas crude, um, another very negative day yesterday. Uh, crude oil was down about 6%. Uh, 26 spot 93 remains a potential support level. That's something to be very aware of. Looking at gold as well, gold, a very interesting candle formation where you've had uh, the tips of these candles each time getting slightly lower. Uh, a failure to break above uh, psychological $1,200. Uh, actually just ticked a little bit above there on Monday, but it's failed to break through there again so far today. Uh, finishing up there with euro dollar and then gbp usd so euro dollar had a particularly good day there yesterday um one spot 14 uh, as a potential resistance we're in between two ranges right now one spot 13 is where we currently are with one spot 11 uh being the potential support a slap bang in the middle of two ranges in fact so that does give you a bit of an idea about where where we are um which makes it a little harder to trade if you're new looking at the uh, rsi there's a 70% level right here where uh, we could just kind of slightly tick below that level and that can give you a bit of an idea of where we are. So then finishing up with uh, GBP USD, uh, it's not done a whole lot yesterday, also trading within two ranges, one spot 46.40 is potential resistance and one spot 42.43 as potential support, potentially supported by a 21 period SMA and certainly that 55 period SMA is also slowly catching up at some point as well. So that gives you a bit of an idea of, uh, of what to expect. In regards to economic data, we've already had some uh, signs that our petroleum data is going to come in 
uh, this forecast seems very, very low compared to the previous that we've had right there. So that could be an interesting one to have a look at. And then if we have a look at Thursday, Thursday also brings with it the unemployment claims in the US. And on Friday, you've got uh, German GDP, Eurozone GDP, uh, and uh, retail sales in the US, and finishing up with the Consumer Sentiment Survey, University of Michigan Sentiment Index. Okay, that's it from you guys. Uh, keep your eye on the chart for Make Insights part of your going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.